if you think gourmet food is just for people... Ready? Come on. You haven't met Margaret Bishop and her five dogs. They're my family. I mean, they're, you know, some of the most important relationships I have in my life. <laughs> Nancy? So she lovingly serves them special meals made from flash-frozen raw food. She buys it directly from her neighbors, Norman and Carol King of Marshall, Virginia, who sell it right from their front porch freezer. You know, you let loose a cat or a dog in a grocery store or supermarket, they're not going to the pet food aisles. They're going for that raw meat behind the butcher counter. It's a meat and veggie diet. We use kale, bok choy, collard greens, <laughs> all kinds of good stuff. So a health nuts greens. dream! <laughs> <laughs> it is. Eat up! <laughs> the kings use only locally grown animals and produce, packaged to the nearby plant. Advocates of the growing movement believe raw food is healthier for pets. But others, including the American Veterinary Medical Association, warned that handling raw meat could spread illnesses to humans. Oh. Carol okay. King says she's not concerned. We do encourage good hygiene. It's really no different than if you serve chicken, you know, to your family. It's raw before you cook it. There you go. King says her product is even safe for human consumption. Still... You haven't eaten it yourself. <laughs> I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> But across the country, Take a seat. the staff at the Honest Kitchen in San Diego digs right in, sharing test food items with their pooches, delicacies like dried mango, bananas, chicken, and green beans. Lucy Postens, a pet nutritionist, founded the company 10 years ago after a raw food diet seemed to improve her own dog's health. So I really began trying to think of a way that I could still continue feeding him a whole food diet, but make it in a format that was just more simple to prepare. So she started creating formulas from dehydrated raw food. She now sells about $12 million worth each year. Just add water and serve. But they're kind of ground to a pulp here. <laughs> um, this is a little bit more of a, a finely ground one. It's the balance between what's visually appealing to the owner and what's digestible for the pet. She's even got tea for dogs. And yes, raw food tends to be more expensive than the average. But she says the bottom line for her customers is that their dogs just eat it up. Charlie? 